Hey, hey, it's Yvonne. It's a great day in Colorado. 60 degrees here in February. Awesome. Let's go see if we can find something to buy and flip for a profit. I am settled in. There was a little girl with her mom learning how to play some kind of drum that was back there. So I just kind of bypassed them. And here are the two items that I picked up. These little left and Siamese girls. I need to double check them. Five ninety nine dollars a piece, left them. They look good so far. Yeah, those are cute. I'll check all the little flowers in the hands here in a minute. And down in here. I got that. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. And this is where I stopped. And they were done. This here, Alaska Originals by Claudia. Quite a few listed. Only one sold something similar, you know, in that line of her stuff. Uh, so something of like a plate or server plate. It was uh, sold for about 40 of this kind of stuff. Pottery, different Alaskan motifs, you know, fish and whatnot. Uh, I saw listed prices from like 40-ish to 79. I'd say about 12 listed pieces and one sold. So you know it, it might be worth wait. I would probably put this on eBay, but shipping this kind of stuff is a bit of a chore. And I do see a nick. Okay, no nicks. I'll let somebody else have fun with it for five dollars even with that little nick that's really barely noticeable oh there's some that looks like frangoma yeah that's his daughter i believe but those are only worth to see those 6.99 here blue tag is what's on sale though it's wednesday or thursday so only one color but those uh, they don't sell those, we'll just say average ten dollars some cheaper some listed for more. So I think we'll pass on those. Oh, is that a little piece of dragonware? Look at you, little baby boo dragonware piece, two ninety nine. Heck yeah. I have a lot of dragonware. I told you guys that. I haven't felt like getting it out to sell it yet. Like adult serving stuff. Pulled some out for myself. One piece for mom. And the rest, one of these days, when I feel like it, I'm going to get it out and sell it. Probably put it in the booth. Stuff's a little fragile for shipping. Tapa de Monte. Yeah, broken flowers, though. That looks like one of those little Inesco. Kind of makes you think of Sugar Baby. Yeah, it is Inesco, right? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure. But they don't sell for a whole lot. Oh, I didn't see this little hobbyist piece. I wish they would have done different colors. Yeah, hobbyist. Five dollars. Hmm. Flamingo stuff like that does sell well, but I wish it was, you know, more of a different color palette going on there. And what are these? Painted tiles. Okay, we could back up now. I saw a couple of things, but they were having fun. She was teaching her little daughter something. That looks like some Avon trains down there. Yeah, cologne bottles, trains. What do we have here? Giraffes. A bunch of wooden giraffes. Oh, this is a leather one. Yeah. How much is the big leather one? $9.99? Mm, I better not. This is very contemporary. This looks straight out of the home goods. Somebody glued the horns back on, though. Yeah, Ross, $13.99, but only $3.99. Yeah, you could probably sell that for $10, $12 out of a booth, but it has been repaired. So we better not do that. Let's see what this little dude is. $3.99. That's interesting. I kind of like that. That's different. Someone might like that. Uh-oh. It's a little top heavy. No, I better not. I, that would probably 
bring about ten, twelve dollars at the booth. I'll pass though. Are you still here? Who the Ark definitely does not rotate their merchandise as quickly as the Goodwill. Unless that, unless these just keep showing up. Y'all know I love these. Hmm, is that a good one though, you guys? Three ninety nine. Price is okay. Uh, okay, let me stare at it for just a second. I'm trying to get some feels. If I get some feels, well, let's turn it around. Cause look. Okay, so that that's like a tree or something or a flower. A little bit more feels on it. I think it would clean up. Let me put it in the cart for a minute. I do love those. And that one's actually a box. With an elephant hand painted. Let's see if there's any special names on it. The horns are missing. We shall pass. Okay, this is where they were hanging out, and I didn't want to disturb them. Cute piece of acrylic, $2.99. Love my acrylic. Some mass produced art glass. Polar bear, shall we say? <laughs> it's just so rough and raw and bubbly and like not. It's just not, you guys. It's not very refined. Yeah, they were playing. <laughs> she was teaching her something on that drum, y'all. Just let them have fun. Move along. Now we can look and see if there was anything in here. Hey, what's this plaque? That's definitely vintage, like Sirocco type. It's got the name in there. Can't really read it. One of that type. Kinda, no. Someone repainted it. Not in love with it. Bells, bells, no. New vases. Oh, a vase in a bank. 1987. That's retro. A vase and then a bank. That's kind of cool. 2.99. Kind of like that. They're 80s. I might do those. We're not going to bring a lot, but I think this would be cute in my booth. Some of my other 80s, 90s stuff. Because it is definitely time. I started a couple years ago. Not to sound like a braggy brat, but I'm just saying. And I announced that y'all might want to think about it too. But now it is definitely time. Oh, they were playing this too. What is that? Oh, that's cute. One of those little thumb things. How much is that? Oh, $9. I better not. That's cute. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, where was I? I was trying to make a decision if I wanted to get one or both of these. <laughs> Since it's a bank too, right? It's only $2.99. 1987. I should get at least one. At least one, right? Before we move on out of this row. Someone has made something very, <laughs> like maybe for a big scenery thing, like um, fantasy game or something. It's like two feet tall. I don't know what to say about it. Ten bucks. I have made it to the bases. Hey, that's cool. Wolford Glass Blowing Company. Look at this thing. That's cool. Definitely. I might think about that. I saw something. There it is. <laughs> I saw it. Two ninety nine. This one though is in bad shape. The grout is really. I don't think I can fix that too easily. We'll pass on that one, you guys. That's right. Two ninety nine. 
These are not glassy, baby, but let's see if we learn something. Nope. They're pretty, though, aren't they? You put them up high. Look how pretty they are. The cobalt or turquoise. Very pretty. But those are not glassy, baby. I just sold two glassy babies to one of you guys that watch my videos. Thank you. She bought both of them and once more if I have it. Oh, that pot is adorable. That is an adorable little pot. There's another pottery piece. Signed. You guys are pretty cool. Oh. And that black on black is cool too. Maybes for myself. Let's see what they have in vases. I'll come back to that in a second. And what is happening here? Three ninety nine. Ooh, I know it's newer, but man, that's cool as heck. That's cool. New stuff. I like the dragonfly. Relief on that. Uh, let's see what this is. Twelve ninety nine. Pinewood Valley. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, and it has a lid. Someone glued it. Let me check that name. That's a new for me. Let me check that name, you guys. And <laughs> an owl. <laughs> a very rough, like wood shop class. Here, mom, look what I made you. But it's kind of cool. I'm saying. <laughs> Let me check that crock, you guys. I'll be right back. All right, because of the large size, about 12, 14 inches, mm, I see listed for around 30 to 40, but it's decoration only. The bottom's like just got felt, like a piece of felt, and like there's no bottom. I'm going to pass on that. I think it's a 70s, if I read correctly. I try to use more than one source, of course. This, I hate this. I'm going to have to put it back there. There's too many nicks off of this. This is an outer coating, unfortunately. It's not painted on the inside. Although, if we did it like that, that is perfect in the front and quite beautiful. But I'm just, I'm not a big fan of picking up things that, unless they're really, really rare or something, that have nicks and stuff like that. That's a shame, but that's pretty, isn't it? This is kind of interesting here. Now, it's got mid-century mod vibes, right? Um, but it's new stuff. It's the name of it. And it's lead-free. So if you wanted that vibe, nice color, the vibe, kind of elegant shapes to them, too. But we're concerned about doing vintage because of the lead. That's a pretty good alternative right there, y'all. I don't think we want to really mess around too much with plates. Let's go up to the mugs. Just looking at the glasses as we pass by. Glassy Baby makes drinking glasses too. Or anything else that might be vintage. You never know. Alright, mug life. It's been a while. Some Corel. That's a little vintage glass. I hope that's vintage in our repop. It's got that weird like feel to it though. But I still think it's cute. I would still get it if there were two of them. I'm a fan. <laughs> well, I don't really see much. It is later in the afternoon. It's like 5 o'clock, y'all. It was a mom day. I gave her my old iPhone. We got her hooked up. I'll tell you guys something. T-Mobile has a plan that they don't talk about. 
but if you don't want any data, like if you just need it for emergencies, $15 a month, she gets a little bit of data, just in case, but unlimited talk and text. And that's just what she needs for emergencies. But you kind of got to ask for it. It's pretty cool. No commitment month to month. Just so you know, that's a pretty affordable plan if you're on a super tight budget but need something. And we just did it because, you know, she just doesn't need all the bells and whistles. That was that Dollar Tree thing. Yeah. It's the mod style. I'm going to find another aisle for us. A few interesting lamps in here. This one. White and blue is a favorite decorating for a lot of people. That's cute. Ten dollars with the mosaic. Like, you know, broken pieces of a tile. This little boudoir. That's cute. That is a little bit older. $9.99. Little Capa de Monte type flowers on it. This is actually a lamp too. This ship. <laughs> that's actually a lamp. I don't... That's very old. And I don't think I want to put a light bulb next to old textiles. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> there it is. Wait a minute. This is a phone. $5.99. Okay, I just bought one. I'm okay. It looks like it goes on your bike or something to hold your phone. Cork purse. Lots of harps and stuff. I'm pretty good now. But when they're super cheap, I'll pick up harps and just save them for lamps. And I do tend to take a peek at light bulbs when they have them for unusual light bulbs. It would be a cute little boudoir chair to upcycle. But it's 25 so that's a little cost prohibitive on that. Personal is fine, of course. These are cool. Florida type. Tropical type. $16.99 a piece, you guys. Let me turn slowly, okay? Saw a few things down here to look at. Hang on, we're going to bypass some people. I saw a couple things for us to look at. It was these. There's actually two of them. Oh, they're pretty bad shape. They could be upcycled though. Marble tops. There's two of them, and they are $20 a piece. Looking for something awesome for my mom. So we just need one little end table. Let's go see if we find a quilt. I thought this was worth a look, but this is store bought, yeah. Something about the taupes and the blue, though, that's really kind of pretty, isn't it? Let's see what this is. Peach and blues. At least they use soft yarn, yeah. Variegated, if I'm saying it right, with the like colors. They did put fringe on it. Just a basic stitch, but it, they did use soft um, yarn, though. That's kind of important. $7.99. We'll call that an honorable mention, but what is happening here? <laughs> What's going on with this? Oh my. <laughs> That's fun. This is probably a better idea to look at. Each one of those pieces is embroidered. They used embroidered panels. Now this is homemade. $8.99. It's just a small size. Machine um help me you guys. Machine embroidered. But still not bad. Not bad. These look kind of vintage. These still feel very new. Kind of vintage vibe. I don't think they are though. I would prefer them to still be like I don't really want to do used sheets unless it's something like a Lisa Frank. That's a different story. 
microfiber. That's why they're so soft. Yeah, these are new. They got a nice, a nice vintage, like 60s, 70s design on them. But maybe if they were new in package. A little walkie walk for you. <laughs> and I'm going to go find us something else to look at. I do like to look at their crafts, but this particular one, they their crafts are usually very expensive, like almost cheaper just to go to Michael's. So I don't tend to linger here too long. I'll just kind of look for whatever sale color tag, you know, like today's blue. So replacement pockets. Well, that's kind of important, though, actually. <laughs> I did a little vintage thing. That's kind of important. <laughs> These are interesting, these boot toppers. Look, they're just little short ones. Those are cute. But I did pull something off of here for myself because there's some brand name stuff. Look at this. Two pair of muck rucks. I do think these are sold at Walmart now, but still, that's a pretty decent name. They have the Nons Kids um, silicone, so two pair of those. But, you know, they wear out from wearing them around the house. $2.99 and then look at this born I have some born boots cost me a fortune there's three pair 100% wool definitely getting those if you guys know if you know why I'm excited you know right <laughs> These are, that's a good deal okay so those are for me and I found myself two pair of Converse Look, bright pink. I don't have that. And these are girly ones. Stretch. Oh, and this these are real girly. These are low profile. And look, I can't remember what these are called. But these are so cool because it's a little bit more feminine of a look. I want those for me. I'm trying to make my way over to purses. Nothing really to get excited about in the purse aisles. But they do. And there's a Vince Camito. It's not real leather though. They do take they're better purses and, and like hook them up towards the front you know hook them to the rack there is an honorable mention of this little kid squirrel purse I'm trying to resist it I'm like Yvonne when are you ever going to use that but look how adorable it is $5.99 let me back up because when I was coming down here let me back up on the end cap some little cottage core girl is going to love this look at these little dresses there's one in Seersucker. They look to be large, extra large. Yeah, that's going to make somebody happy. Only 10 bucks. Little cottage core farmhouse. Very cute. Put a shirt under it. You can call it college prep. Pretty colors, but this is all faux leather. Nothing really resellable. Might be something fun for yourself. Wait a minute, this is beaded. Hold up, what is that? But this beaded tropical purse. Whose is that? Twelve ninety nine. Let's see if we can tell whose it is. No, nope, just a made in China. And here's the problem: this linen, this cotton stuff, that's going to get so dirty from handling it. Butterfly, pretty colors. Dang it, now are you going to get even more sparkly? You just really want me to get one of these, don't you? Luckily, some little girl took her magic marker. Because that one had a little bit too much iridescent purple. That was getting me. A little Barbie purse. Not bad. All right. We're not bad for ourselves. Let's go find jewelry. Oh, now I know why it was so quiet in here. I thought maybe they just turned the music down. But no, uh, apparently their overhead system is off. And so when I went to jewelry up front, they have a radio up there by the cash register where the main jewelry cases are. And it was a little loud, right? To kind of resonate through the store a little bit. But up there next to the jewelry, that was not, that was unfilmable, you guys. <laughs> That's okay. I really didn't find anything. But I'm happy with what I have. I'm happy in here, and I got my mom a 
um, case for her iPhone X that I gave her. Like, you, that's older, right? And there wasn't going to be one at the T-Mobile store. So I'm like, Mom, I have to order it on eBay. But I found one here, brand new, still in package for $1.99. So that's cool. Well, you guys, I'll just leave you with this Easter display. I hope you had a little bit of fun. I'll see you next time.